Hey folks, welcome back to the homestead. Hey, today I'm going to do a short little video and I got a helper here. Maddox, my son is here. He's actually going to do all the work uh, because I still have my hand wrapped up and can't really do any of this, but it needs to be done. This video is going to be, <clears throat> it's actually going to be kind of the, we're going to start with the second half of uh, propagating elderberry plants from uh cuttings <clears throat> and you'll extend you'll understand a little better here in a second why i'm saying we're going to start with the second half because what we have here is a tub i actually have two of these tubs and they're full of elderberry cuttings uh from last year about this time so one year ago i took cuttings from my elderberry plants my you know my mature elderberry plants and I put them in this tub here. Now this is just like a, I don't know, Maddox, what is this? Uh, 30 inch by, may not even be that. This may be 24 inches by 16 inches deep. And I'm gonna turn you around here real quick and I'm gonna show you. So you can just see in here, all of these cuttings now not all of them live if they're still brown this time of year and you pull them out and they're real brittle and they don't have any roots they're dead they didn't make it but i can look in here and i can see that the vast majority of these are alive and of course i'm actually a little bit late this could, I mean, this is going to be fine to do it right now because these are super, super hardy plants. But, uh, you know, we could have done this a month ago probably and been okay. We would have been able to tell what was alive and what wasn't. And uh, you're going to see here in a second. What we're going to do is we're going to just dump this out. And then we got some pots here and some soil. Um and we're gonna pot these up. Now these can either be potted up to allow to grow for maybe another month or so. And I mean, they are gonna put off some growth. We're gonna pot some of these up and I'm gonna show you in a month. They'll be two foot, maybe taller than that with tons of new growth. And the reason for that is, is well, number one, we'll be further into spring but number two is, is when we dump this out here in a second, you'll see that there's roots. The whole thing is going to be full of roots. And when we start separating those roots out, it's going to stimulate the root growth. And that plant's going to realize, ah, oh, I've got more space to grow. And they're just going to take off like crazy. Now, in the past, I have sold these last couple of years. Now, don't get me wrong. I give a fair share of these away uh, to my friends and my customers that have bought beef and eggs and pork from us. But a pot this big, I don't even know. I guess that's, uh, it says two and a half quart-ish, something like that. 2.64 actually. Now this will be like I said, another month, that thing will be a big, tall, beautiful plant, $20 easy. And that's, that's probably pretty cheap. So I think one year out of a container that this big, I had like 60 or 70 of these. And, and honestly, I don't even have enough pots to pot them up this year. So um we're gonna be planting a whole bunch of them just out here in our in our landscape in our garden area um and then i got a whole bunch of people i'm gonna give some of these away to um but i am still gonna pot some of them up and i'll you know i'll sell some uh at a local market and at least have enough make enough to pay for my soil because I mean, soil is not free and I put it in good soil um, and then the pots too. 
these are all pots I've had for years. Um, I keep them after any plant that I buy. I keep all these pots. I've talked about that in other videos. Um, but I'm kind of coming down to the end. All my stockpiled pots, I'm, I'm running out of them. So I'm going to have to find a way to maybe look on Marketplace or, I mean, I hate to buy brand new ones, but I mean, if, if you got to have them, you got to have them. But uh, I'm going to have Maddox come over here. We're going to flip this thing over and I'm going to show you all these roots. Say hi. No, just... <laughs> okay so first of all tilt it this other way i can see the bottom maddox first of all look at that root ball that was coming out of it out of a tiny little hole it's actually got it all cracked open pretty big now but it was just a couple drainage holes so those roots uh you know, honestly uh probably gonna just cut those off you could pull them through they'll be totally fine but there's going to be so much root in here we're just going to go ahead and cut those off now like i said okay we got that cut off but these plants are incredible heart incredibly hardy now obviously we don't want to just get you know super barbaric here and break off some of this new growth um but what we're going to do is is i'm going to have maddox turn this to uh this tub on its side Turn on that side, bud. We're going to kind of push around the edges and break it up a little bit. And then just kind of do what we normally do. You know, we kind of turn it up on its side and... No, no, no. That's the whole pot. Just lay it over and pull it from the bottom. So you can just see, I mean, that's just solid roots. You'll also see, this is, that's a new growth. That's, that's a new, that'll be a whole new plant and that's growing underground. And it's pretty much all the way around there. Elderberries spread underground um, or across the ground, but also underground and I mean, there's going to be the, uh, the the possibility of, you know, a hundred or more plants in here if we wanted it to be that way. Well, Maddox, if you'll just grab that root ball and just start separating it all out. Sometimes if the ball, if the root ball gets too thick, you kind of have to just take a spade and just start chopping away at it. But, you know, you can see, hold that up, bud. I mean, that's a whole lot of plant right there. And I, it might not look like much right now, but that's gonna be a, a huge filled out plant in, in a month or less. So like I was saying, you can either pot these up, you can direct plant them once you get them all separated. Uh, you could just leave them as bare root. You could just leave them as bare root. Maybe tie a string around a dozen of them or so and give them away or, or you know, sell them bare root even. We're going to get these broken apart and we'll kind of come back and show you what we ended up with. Okay. So we ended up with 27 kind of bundles. Most of these could be broken up and divided up even small. Hold that, hold those ones up, bud. I mean, those are big plants, you know, a lot of these, even these ones here, these could be divided up even smaller, but I'm going to just leave them as this, as this size. Cause I, I want to be able to give away or sell a decent sized plant. Um, so say, let's just do the math easy. Say there's 25. We actually had 27, you know, we divide that even further down 
to where there's two in each one of those bundles, that'd be 50 plants that we could pot up, <clears throat> let them grow for a month or two in a, in a, in a uh, pot, fairly small pot actually, and 20 bucks a piece. $570. That's, that's, that's pretty good. No. One, one plant in one pot for 27 of those is $540. Okay, so tell me what you were saying a second ago. Twenty, if well, we left it as is, and there's yeah, twenty-seven. So there's one of these. There's twenty-seven of these. And if you did one pot of these, so twenty-seven times twenty, twenty dollars a piece is five hundred and forty dollars for twenty-seven of these plants. Right. So, but if, if you if you did fifty of them, so if you did if you divided them all up and you did fifty of them, so you had fifty of the pots, there would be you'd have a thousand dollars. For twenty dollars a pot, yeah, so it's a thousand dollars for fifty of them. Now I don't know how many bags of soil that we would need. We would have some expense, like I said, the pots and the soil. But, um, yeah, you could you could very quickly make some decent money. And we have a whole nother tub that's actually a lot bigger than this one. So we're going to end up with the possibly upwards of a hundred twenty ish if we wanted to. Like I said, that's if we divided these even smaller. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this about that size, that pot he's got there. And this is this is about as easy as it gets. Is that one over there? You give that plant a month, I think you'll see three times the size, three times the, the growth on that thing. I really do. These two big ones here, we're just going to plant uh, out along the driveway. They're too big to pot up. I mean, we could pot them up, but we'd need like a two-gallon pot probably. So some of these, like I said, they're just going to get potted up. Uh, some of them are just going to get planted. So we're going to pot up what we have. Uh, pots to do the rest will plant outside I do already have a couple of customers that are coming for eggs this week that uh, I will probably just give them to them bare root so Maddox grab about grab about five of those and just leave them in a bundle keep them all keep them all about the same no no no, no. hold on Keep them all about the same depth as far as planting depth. So line up all the, take that dead piece off there. So we line up all the root balls, I guess, so to speak. Show you here. So we're gonna line up all those root balls. And then what I'll have them do is just dig a hole right there. You just set them in there. Just pack that dirt up around it. Kind of kind of build the soil up around it to hide those roots. You want to cover all those roots. Now, we're not going to leave them planted here, obviously. But that's so. I know I have a gal coming this week for eggs. And I told her I was going to give her some of these. Well, when she gets here for eggs, I can just grab those out of there. Sticking them in a Walmart sack or a big Ziploc uh, bag or something. And, uh, you know, leave a little bit of this soil on it and uh, send her on her way. And then she can decide if she wants to heal them. This is called healing in. So this is just healed in uh, where I know I've got, what was it, five or six there? Five. That's five there. So I'm going to give her five of those. Uh so I can bunch five of them together, maybe do five more together, do five more together. And then if she wants 10 of them, well, I'll grab two bundles, give her 10. She can take them home. She can pot them up if she wants, uh, or she can uh, just plant them right away, right? That saves me from having to buy soil. It saves me from having to um, have the pots and uh, kind of a win-win deal.
we're gonna get these potted up we'll be right back all right so we potted up uh what we could in there what we had pots for uh we actually kind of made it work we stuck several uh plants um in, e in a each pot we just kind of made it work um and then these ones out here the two big ones i had maddox uh can't see if you can even see that this one and that one we just direct planted those this is along our driveway here so the plan is with that other uh tub we have of cuttings i'm going to bundle up uh several other bundles just to give away as bare root and then i'm going to just start planting them all up this driveway right there that's that's the plan for that all right so the next phase here is is we're going to fill this container back up well real quick we ended up with one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen fifteen of them potted up now like i said there's several in each then we have the bundle of five we planted the two big ones Now we're gonna fill this thing back up and we'll show you the next phase. All right, so phase two of this whole deal is these are my existing elderberry uh, plants here. And these really aren't great to plant right into your garden unless you have a kind of an area that is gonna keep them contained. It's kind of like mint. It's just gonna go all over. Uh, so these are kind of protruding out into this walkway over here and underneath this uh, arbor. So I'm gonna cut these back anyway, at least the ones that are coming coming over into this uh, um, walkway. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna take a whole bunch of cuttings like this. So let me get a bunch of this cut back. We'll be right back with you. Okay, so we've got our container filled back up with dirt. And we're gonna do these, if you haven't seen my other rooted cutting videos, I did one on uh, lavender, uh, rosemary, and grapevines. But it's gonna be the same thing. We want at least four, four buds on a, on a cutting here. So we're just going to take that and I'm not going to use um, growth hormone or anything. Normally I would dip these into a, gro a growth hormone and it will help them grow. These things are so resilient. They just don't need it. So we're going to, we're going to get about a 12 inch cutting. Take those bottom leaves off there and stick that in the soil here. They only need to be two or so inches apart, not real far apart. They don't need a whole lot of space when they're in this container for the first year. Did you pack this dirt down? Kids don't listen. <laughs> so I'm just going to line this whole thing and uh, we'll see you guys in a second. All right. Just took a few minutes. Got all those cuttings cut to about 12 inches or so. Stripped off the bottom leaves and buds that were coming out. Stuck them in here. I didn't count them. But, I don't know, there's probably 30, I don't know, maybe 40, 50 of them in there. I should have counted them, I guess, but it doesn't really matter. Um, some of them aren't going to make it, obviously, but it always seems like more grow from underneath the ground. So there's going to be more plants than what you even put in here a lot of times, if that makes sense. Um, so anyway... This is how I do the cuttings. So 
this would actually be the first step, right? That's why I said in the beginning, we're gonna do this backwards. Mainly because I like to reuse the containers and I even like to reuse some of the soil that came off of those when we shook off the roots. Uh, this is what, if you were starting fresh, this is what you would do first. You would cut plants or buy cuttings or you can buy these, um, you can buy these online. There's a lot of businesses and a lot of people that are doing cuttings uh, as a side job or a full-time job. Um, so you can order these online. They'll be, they will be probably ordered or mailed prior to now, prior to them having a bunch of new green growth um, while they're still dormant. They'll just look like a twig and they'll be bundled up, usually in a Ziploc or something. You keep them in your fridge till, uh, you know, February or so and you stick them in the dirt and then you have your own plants. So this is how it starts. That's how it ends. And uh, it can kind of become an addictive cycle, you know, cause it's fun to see making all these new plants. And uh, you can, if you wanted to, you could really make some pretty good money doing this. Um, granted it's once a year, but uh, if you enjoy doing this kind of stuff anyway, I mean, it's fun and you can make some money. So at least make enough money early spring to, to pay for your garden seeds, um, you know, the rest of your plants and, and seeds for, for that year's garden. So anyways, I appreciate you guys watching and uh, we'll see you on the next video.